Alright, let's start by giving you two examples of murder. And I want you to guess which perpetrator was tried as an adult. I know you may already have an idea where I'm going with this, seeing as I'm constantly referred to as a white-hating cuck in my pursuit for justice, but let's play anyway. Behind door number one is Santoya Brown, a child trafficking victim who shot and killed a sex predator in self-defense after he paid to have sex with her. A minor at the time. 1988, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. That makes you, what, 15? 16. 16. And behind door number two, we have Nicholas Giampa, a proud neo-Nazi who gleefully spread his message of ethnic cleansing across the internet and to those close to him. And when his girlfriend's parents responded by doing what most reasonable non-Nazis would do, telling Giampa, hey, you've got issues and we want nothing to do with you. So then he shot and murdered them in cold blood. So I know you're probably wondering who was tried as the adult? Was it the 16 year old victim of predatory behavior or the 17 year old self-professed admirer of Adolf Hitler? Oh, who happens to be white. I mean, he was just a kid ritually following alt-right brainwashing sites, preaching ethnic cleansing, talking about using Jews as target practice. Let's give him the Brock Turner treatment, shall we? He doesn't deserve to have the book thrown at him like a Kershaw fastball like Santoya over here, who took action against one of the men who had sexually assaulted her. He told me and I passed out because he said I thought he was a joke. In between my legs, like, he just grabbed it real hard. Oh no, she was fully cognizant of her actions, so she must be tried as an adult. And you know how after any attack by a Muslim or a problem in the black community, you'll hear conservative mouthpieces talk about how the Muslim community needs to do more to weed out radicals, or how the black community needs to strengthen their values. Any black person, there are still going to be problems in black right. communities. But, we but, need to address well, that as well. But what about the white community here? I mean, it's not like you didn't have enough red flags. Giampa mowed a fucking swastika into a neighbor's lawn, shared photos of Hitler in a cape, talked about shooting Jews, and was described as troubled by countless friends and relatives. Yet none of this was enough to maybe call the cops. Just imagine a Muslim who talked about shooting Christians who had mowed Allahu Akbar into someone's lawn and shared some Bin Laden quotes on Twitter. How would the conservative world react if that person then killed two people with all of that public knowledge? The different levels of empathy we show for people in this country based on skin pigmentation is nothing short of repulsive. White innocence versus black guilt. Not only is this neo-Nazi being tried as a minor if he survives his self-inflicted gunshot wound, but all over the media he's been described as a troubled teen or a misguided kid. The teenage boy is now charged with their murder. The gunman was a neo-Nazi inspired teenager. You remember Michael Brown? Yeah, he was 18 when he was shot and killed, but we never heard the media describe him as a child, talk about his naive childish mistakes, or offer him a lifeline of innocence based on his youth. Not to forget that he was actually the one who got killed, but was nevertheless described as a thug, a drug user, a man who was a threat to the public, etc. Just like Santoya Brown, but of course, not like good old Hitler loving Nick. It's all about perception and a preconceived perception that has been wired into the mindset of Americans so that when they see a white face, they automatically look for excuses to justify criminal behavior. Hence why Brock Turner is considered a kid who just tripped and fell and raped a girl, whereas Meek Mill is a thug that has to be sentenced to years in jail for doing wheelies while on probation. It's also why when we see a video of a white kid being bullied, the nation stops to address it, but when a Muslim girl gets brutalized like it's in the goddamn Coliseum, we hear crickets. And it's why the justice system has no problem trying a 17 year old murderer as a minor simply because he's a white kid from a white family who just made some bad decisions. Freedom, liberty and justice for all, right? Follow me on Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell and on Twitter also at Francis M. Maxwell. Like and share the video. Continue to resist.